Hello everyone and a very warm welcome back to my channel and to today's video which I guess is a mini what we eat in a week video for our family evening meals but with a little bit of a twist because it's a slow cooker edition. So basically when I was doing our meal plan at the start of the week I realised that quite a few of our meals were slow cooker ones this week so I thought it would be nice to turn this into like a proper video. We love our slow cooker, we use it all the time in autumn and winter. I just love being able to put it on during the day and have it smelling the house nice and also having it kind of like minimal prep for when the kids get back from school. So I'm just going to get started. I was going to film a proper intro to this video but it's got late, I forgot to do one and I'm actually cooking the last recipe as we speak. So please give this video a big thumbs up. I also would love to know if you've got any slow cooker recipes that you enjoy because I'm always on the lookout for for new ones so please leave them below if you have any and let me know if you have a slow cooker or not because I just think they're a really nice way to cook your meals in autumn and winter. I'm just going to get started and I really hope that you enjoy the video. It's the first day of the second UK lockdown here so I'm fully embracing the cosy. I'm just at home working, I'm wearing my jogging bottoms, my slippers with socks which is rather nice. And I'm just about to put our dinner on for this evening, which is a slow cooker chicken korma curry. Our kids love curry. They love any sort of curry apart from the really, really hot ones. I am going to do all this sort of kind of prep for it now, bung it in the slow cooker, and then I'll cook the rice and the naan bread that we're going to have with it later. So I'll quickly show you the ingredients. We've got chicken breast, which is obviously quite essential in a chicken korma curry. Then I have got some garlic. I will use two garlic cloves in the recipe. Two onions and then quite a lot of spices and different things. So we have got some paprika, some ground turmeric, some chili powder, double cream, 150 millilitres, which is exactly the amount needed for the recipe. Some chicken stock, some sugar, some ground almonds and some tomato puree. The recipe also mentioned putting in some ginger, about a thumb's worth of ginger, but I completely forgot to buy it. So I'm hoping it's not gonna taste that much different without it. To be honest, we don't really like ginger, so hopefully it's not gonna make too much of a difference. I've just cut up the onions and the garlic and I'm just adding them to the blender just to make them into a paste. This is also when you'd add the ginger if you had remembered to buy it. And then I'm just adding a little splash of water as well. I'm just adding the chicken to a pan and just quickly searing it at a really high temperature just for a few minutes. I've seared the chicken, put it aside, and now I'm gonna fry this rather delightful smelling onion paste for about 10 minutes until it goes golden. Is it gonna come out on you? Do I need a spoon? <laughs> I need a spoon. <laughs> this looks yummy. Now adding all the spices, so I'm adding two tablespoons of tomato puree another one. One teaspoon of ground cumin. I don't think I actually mentioned the cumin at the start. I forgot to say it in the ingredients. So yeah, also a teaspoon of this. One teaspoon of turmeric. One teaspoon of paprika. And then just a little bit of salt as well. And then we're frying this for a minute just to make all the spices go aromatic. That's smelling really, really nice now. Next, I'm adding the chicken back to the pan with the resting juices as well. I only used one stock cube in the end, but I'm adding 300 millilitres of stock to the pan and I'm just gonna let it simmer for about five minutes. That's been simmering now for the last five minutes and now I'm just adding it to the slow cooker. That's all been added now, so I'm gonna cook that on low for about five to six hours and then at the end, that's when you add the double cream and the almonds. So 
it already smells really nice so hopefully that's going to cook really well in there. So it's about five hours later now and now all I'm doing is I'm adding the 150 millilitres of double cream to our slow cooker and then I'm also going to add six tablespoons of ground almonds and then I'm going to leave that for 10 minutes and then I'm going to serve. So here we go, here is our chicken korma and what is really good about this one is that it's quite mild for kids so all the kids really enjoy it. We've got some naan bread and some rice and we've got plenty of leftovers in the slow cooker so no doubt I'll be having seconds after this as well. It is a beautiful sunny day today and I thought that we would have a another slow cooker meal for tonight because it is Friday. I can bung it on and then just get it ready for when the kids come back from school. So we're having slow cooker gammon with cola this evening and maple syrup, which I don't know, I'm quite excited to try. I've never done this one before, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. If you never see this, it's because it didn't turn out very nice. And then we're gonna have it with mashed potatoes and vegetables later on. So I'm gonna get the gammon part done now and I will quickly show you the ingredients. Like I mentioned, later I will be doing mashed potato and veg, but for the gammon part, we have got gammon. We've got an unsmoked boneless gammon joint. The recipe said one carrot, which to me does not sound like a lot. So I've decided to do four carrots, go a little bit wild and crazy. We've got an onion. We've got some cinnamon sticks, some cloves, some red wine vinegar, bay leaves, peppercorn, maple syrup, and then the cola. It says two liters. I'm not actually a massive fan of like full fat Coke. So I don't know whether we'll put two liters in or maybe one and a half. We'll have a little look and see. But yeah, that's the ingredients. Let's get started. I've chopped up the carrots and then I've also chopped up the onion into quarters. All we're literally doing is popping the gammon in and then just covering it with the cola. It seems really weird. Yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> a bit strange. <laughs> Hopefully it'll taste nice. It does seem odd though. Yeah, no, I don't think we want to anyway. We'll just do one and a bit. John's just getting involved. You quite like the idea of the gammon, don't you? It's kind of wrong. But... Wrong, but hopefully it will taste right. So now we're just adding the carrot and the onion. I don't know, it seems really strange. Um, Let me know if you've ever done a recipe like this. So now that's all in and it says cook on low for five and a half hours, but occasionally come and have a look at it because if the gammon is not fully covered, which it kind of isn't on ours because my slow cooker isn't big enough, then you need to top up with boiling water to make sure the gammon is covered. So we'll see how this goes. We'll set it for five and a half hours and see how we go. It's five or so hours later now and it's actually dark outside and I'm now currently in my pajamas but I'm about to sort out the remainder of the gammon. So the first thing I've done is I've set the oven to 190 degrees and we're gonna get started on the final part. Now we're just cutting away the fat. In the meantime, we're just boiling the potatoes to make mashed potatoes. The next thing I'm doing is quickly making the glaze or the sauce for our gammon. So I've got a measuring jug. I also forgot to mention earlier that you also need some whole grain mustard and I'm gonna make this now. So the first thing I'm doing is adding 150 millilitres of maple syrup. We need two tablespoons of mustard, but no one really likes mustard, so we're gonna put in one and a bit. Then you need two tablespoons of red wine vinegar and then a pinch of ground cloves. And then I'm just giving this a good mix together. I'm now pouring over half of the mixture and just giving it a little glaze 
and then I'm putting it in the oven for 15 minutes at 190 degrees and then I'm getting it out and putting the remainder on. And here we go, here is our slow cooked gammon in cola. We've tried a little bit of the gammon and it's absolutely delicious and then we've just got it with mashed potato and veg. It is the weekend now. <laughs> It's the weekend now. If you can hear lots of noise, firstly the dog is getting excited because John is filling up his like little Kong thing. If you have a dog, you probably know what I'm talking about. The rest of the noise, <laughs> the rest of the noise is the kids. They are playing football in the garden and they keep banging the ball against the glass. So we're just gonna have to work with what we've got here. We're having another slow cooked meal. We are having a chicken and chorizo paella and I'm very much looking forward to it. So I'm gonna quickly show you the ingredients. We are not using prawns in our paella, which I know is probably quite a integral part of most paellas, I think, is it? Probably, but only two out of the five of us like them. I'm not personally keen on them myself. So we've decided to not put them in ours. So the ingredients for ours are, we've got some chicken breasts, we have got some chopped tomatoes, some paprika, an onion, a little bit of saffron, <laughs> saffron, some frozen peas, although I've got a little bit to use up here, a pepper, some chorizo, some paella rice, and some chicken stock cubes, and I can't remember if I mentioned garlic, and some garlic as well. We're gonna serve it with some crusty bread, but obviously I don't need to do that bit until later. I fried the chicken and the chorizo for seven minutes, just in a frying pan, and I've now transferred that to the slow cooker for a bit. Next, I'm just frying the onions for about five minutes as well, just to turn them slightly brown. Then I'm adding a teaspoon of paprika, if it's gonna come out, there we go. And I'm also adding a pinch of saffron. The saffron is optional, but we have some in the cupboard. I'm also grating in two cloves of garlic. The recipe should use wine, but we don't want to use wine with ours, so we're just adding a little bit of extra stock. So instead of 400 millilitres of stock, we're going to use 525, and we're adding about 100 millilitres now, simmering until it reduces by about half. It's not actually part of the recipe, but we're also adding a pepper to ours, because why not? <laughs> then we're adding a tin of chopped tomatoes. Then we're adding approximately about 300 grams of paella rice. Next I'm adding our saffron, onions, garlic mix, paprika mix. And then finally the remainder of the stock. And then we're cooking this on high for an hour and a half before we come back to it and do the remainder of the recipe. It's an hour and a half later now and I'm just adding the frozen peas. I've already added a few and then forgot that I was filming. So just adding a few more for the sake of the video. And also this would be the time to add prawns as well if you were a prawny type person. So now I'm just gonna cook for <laughs> Ren's in the background shouting at the dog. I'm now just gonna cook for another 30 minutes. And here we go, here is our slow cooker paella which looks really nice. And that's it, that is my three slow cooker recipes done. Really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you for watching.